So today's workout is rounds for time. So I have to do 10 rounds and each round consists of eight push-ups and 20 jumping jacks. I'm gonna do the best that I can. I'm still not feeling great. My throat is killing me. Um, so I'm gonna do as many rounds as I can and do the best that I can. I might have to modify it um, sometimes, some, like do less push-ups or do less jumping jacks or do less of something just in case I start being able to not breathe. Um, but I'm gonna try and that's what matters. <laughs> So I am running a little bit late. Um, my workout ended up taking a little bit longer this morning because I obviously can't breathe very well with a sore throat. So I am not coming home for lunch today. So I am about to make my lunch for work. So today's lunch is going to be a salad, some grapes, and some carrots. going to do, let's see, three ounces of salad, which is approximately one and a half cups. Go. Perfect. I'm doing four ounces of chicken. So I already made my chicken this morning. That is all ready. And then what's a salad without a little bit of cheese? So I will do three quarters. 
quarters of an ounce of mozzarella cheese on that. This is today's main course for lunch. Just a lovely little chicken salad. I can't get close. There we go. And then we are going to do three ounces of carrots, which is about a half a cup. And I do like to weigh my food because I find that that's a lot more accurate and it gets me a little bit more consistent. That's three ounces and one carrot for Kona. So there is my half cup of carrots. And then I am going to do about 60 grapes, which is about two cups. And it's a perfect amount on this bunch. All right, so just give those a little wash. So then those are my two cups of grapes. So that is going to be my lunch for the day. I'm going to have two cups of grapes, half a cup of carrots, and a chicken salad. I will see you guys probably after work. So I am making supper. Um, I still <laughs> don't feel well. I um, survived work. I am not running a fever, which is kind of my my cutoff point. So if I were to be running a fever, then I would not work out and I would not go to work tomorrow. Uh, but since I'm not running a fever at this point, then I think I'm still going to try to work out tomorrow. I'm still going to try to go to work. Um, but I still just, like, my throat is killing me. And I just don't feel very good. Um, so when I don't feel very good, I tend to go for, like, comfort foods. So what I'm making for supper... Tonight is probably not everybody's version of comfort food, um, but I, oh, you can't even see me, guys. Um, I am making um, breaded shrimp, and by breaded shrimp, I mean Parmesan shrimp. So I took shrimp, and I dipped them in some egg, and then I dip them in Parmesan with a little bit of lemon garlic seasoning. And now I am air frying them. So I just, you know, put them in my little air fryer basket. Take a little bit of olive oil spritz. And we just spritz a little bit there. Pop it in the air fryer here. And the air fryer that I have is just, you know, a simple Bella air fryer. Um, so it's not something fancy, but after about six minutes, which let me set that timer. So after six minutes, this is what pops out. Perfect little fried shrimp, which makes me feel better. It's such a weird comfort food, but I love shrimp. I really do. Um, so this is my comfort food and my supper for tonight. I think after the shrimp, um, I did go a little bit over with the Parmesan. I double coated them. Um, so I'm not going to allow myself to have Halo Top tonight because I double coated them and had a little bit more fat in the shrimp than I normally would. So I think after this, I'm going to have a small salad and then after after that for dessert I'll probably have about two cups of grapes if that changes I'll show you guys but you'll see it here in a little bit anyways so it is the end of the night on Wednesday um, the last time you guys 
saw a clip it was probably about three three four hours ago maybe and um since then my nose has started running and i started coughing so you know that's a great development oh you guys might have a hair on you don't know if that was on the lens or not um uh, but that's a great development for um katrina sickness it might be developing into a worse sickness than i'm was hoping for I probably jinxed myself by saying that I could get sick after Wednesday. So I definitely probably jinxed myself. But um, still no fever. So I'm still going to probably go to work tomorrow. I'll take my temp when I wake up in the morning. Um, and if there's no fever, then I will work out. Tomorrow is just cardio, so there's no reason why I can't do that. Um, Kona, I'll play with your ball here in a second. Sorry, the dog is throwing her ball at me insistently. Um... So I will still work out as long as I don't have a fever and I will go to work if I don't have a fever. And as long as I'm not like, you know, coughing and phlegming everywhere because nobody wants to see that or be around that. Um, I ended up not having any salad and instead of two cups of grapes, I only had like a cup because that's all I had left. I guess I should have paid more attention to how many grapes I had left. So for today, nutrition-wise, I have consumed 1,415 calories, so still under that 1,500 calorie goal. That includes 40 grams of fat, so that was like perfectly on goal. Um, 165 grams of carbs, so that was good. And 118 grams of protein. So I did very good for not feeling very well. Um, I was very active today at work. Uh, typical day at work, I get between six to eight thousand steps. My, oof, sorry, I said just dropped you to itch my nose. Um, I typically shoot to get eight thousand steps before I leave work for the day because my hours at work are eight to four thirty. So I'm always trying to get eight thousand steps before eight. Or before 4.30. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how my day looks like. Sometimes I'm stuck in meetings. And I just don't have a chance to get up and walk around. Um, today when I left work. I had like 12,000 steps. So that's like one and a half times. My typical day. Um, just because today was a very active. Up and moving around day. Um, I think that I pretty much hold myself together through sheer willpower today because there was a lot of times where like if I stopped for a second then I got like really sick and like started to feel really bad so then I would just be like nope we're not stopping we're just we're gonna push through we're gonna keep doing this so I, I got it done I'm proud of myself for that because it wasn't looking that great for some of the times but I am, I'm good, um, and like I said, as long as I'm not running a fever, I will work out tomorrow, and I will, um, go to work, and I have a three-day weekend coming up, so I, I just, I could probably hold this off until this weekend, like, I could probably make it to work, um, tomorrow and Friday, I'm gonna try to guarantee that I'll be there tomorrow, um, if I don't feel any better, if I get a fever, then I'm just going to try to make it to Friday. Like, that's my goal with this sickness, is to just keep pushing it off every single day. Be like, oh, I can't get sick today. I can get sick tomorrow. And then just keep doing that and then just never be sick. Like that. <laughs> Fingers crossed, guys. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I will update you on my sickness. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I can hear it in my head, if that makes any sense. But I will update you guys tomorrow. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope none of you are getting sick. I hope you guys are all in perfect health. <laughs> Bye.